This program is rated G and is suitable for general audiences. Find my hotel, Castle Beausight. Uh, vous cherchez un château? Yes, the castle. Alors, vous allez tout droit? Uh huh. À gauche? Yes. Et ensuite à droite? Et vous y êtes? Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Ah, uh, what do you call that? Baguette. Baguette. Same in English. Une? Crazy? Me? You're the one daydreaming in the 
the middle of the road. You're the one biking like a maniac. In France, bicycles have the right of way. You could have killed me. Ignoring the fact that I'm the one lying in the middle of the road. Are, are, are you actually hurt? Uh, nothing is broken? Well, I'm okay. My lunch has seen better days. It's probably my fault I was walking with my face in a map. Okay, well, just, um... Next time, watch where you are walking. Then you're you're out of luck. So we all grow up loving to learn new things. 
That's why I'm always bouncing around. I love meeting new people, seeing how they live, seeing their world. Life should be an adventure. Uh, well, if you don't need anything else... Um... No, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Okay, Judy, we'll check you in.
another beautiful day. We were just talking about the uh, power issue last night. Uh, yes, yes, the power went out on my floor. It's oh, wild. You were not disturbed, I hope. No, no, I was, I was out like a light. A play on words, very charming. If you'll excuse me, I must check in with the electrician to assess the damage we have suffered. Bonjour. Yeah, dear. Merci, Jacques. I get the impression he doesn't like me very much. He's a little irritated. He did spend the morning fielding complaints from angry guests and uh, disposing of melted refrigerator contents. Well, I, uh, I hope he finds a culprit. Oh, they will be caught. People go to prison for this in France. Seriously? Oui. Uh, you know that there's an app, right, that can translate French for you, so if you don't know what someone is saying or what a sign means? Right, because I, 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 I don't know what any of it means. Hey, do you have any recommendations for things I can do today? Uh, you could take a walk or ride a bicycle. Uh, just stay away from the electrical outlets. The prison thing wasn't very funny. It was. Bike tour? Oui, oui, nous partons dans une minute. Départ dans une minute. Vous pouvez aller vous mettre à l'arrière du groupe, s'il vous plaît? Ah, merci. Okay. Nice day for a little jaunt around the island. Vu comment il est habillé, il ne rend pas compte de la difficulté. Il va mourir. Awesome. Should be fun. Ok les gars, allons-y. We got some real athletes here. Here I come. Ok. I can't thank you enough. If I had the money, I'd have you at the entire shop. Uh, if you had the money, I would let you. I do have one other small project I'd love to discuss when you have time. I know you have much bigger pursuits. Are you getting any closer? Ah, uh, the lighthouse. Bit by bit, but honestly, if I don't uncover buried treasure, I I think it's going to be at least another year until I have enough money. If you need help digging, <laughs> keep at it. Your parents would be very proud. Un moment. Ben? Oh, Mariah. I was out for a walk, like you suggested. I uh, found the spike. A walk? With a helmet? Yep. And then, there it was. A sheep? Yeah, it was a sheep. It was like a sheep attack. I was uh, cruising along with the group, you know, enjoying the tour, keeping up, no problem. And the sheep, it just jumped out right in front of me. Bam. Like a stick up. Did you take your wallet? You know, I, I could have actually been seriously injured. Mm. No, it's it's very serious. <clears throat> it's very serious. Uh, because the sheep here, they have become quite brazen. We can't leave our keys in our cars because you turn your back for one minute and zoom, they're off to the casino. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it like that. Very good. Just so happy you are safe. Um, I have to go uh, to my studio for a moment, but if you want after that, um, I can walk you back to the inn. Thank you. I see you. Wow, this is an impressive.
impressive setup. Thank you. Uh, most of those tools are my grandfather's, but uh, over the years I've added to the collection. He was a carpenter by trade? He was. A master. He always said that working with wood was life's most intimate connection with nature. He was the kind of man that if you gave him a chisel or a piece of wood, he could make you anything. Well, obviously you inherited his gene. Uh, apparently when I was seven, uh, for my birthday, I uh, asked for a, a length of rosewood so I could make something beautiful. Well, lumber is expensive here, yeah? Yes, if you can even get it. But wood has a beauty some people are still willing to pay for. It. Wow. You must have people lined up around the block. Uh, yes and no. Um, I'm particular about the projects that I choose. You know, I, I want every piece to be meaningful, to speak to my heart. Now that sounds a little silly now that I... No, no. I get it. I'm the same way. Can I see your outdoor space? I... Uh, yes. Ah! Oh, from the sketches. For weddings. The woman who can build anything. <laughs> Bonjour, Maria. Bonjour, Micheline. <laughs> well, I'll just go lock up and we can walk back to the inn. Ready? Ready as a rabbit. Is that an American saying? No, that is something I just came up with and wish I hadn't. <laughs> This is my lucky day. <laughs> and who is this handsome man? Don't tell me you got married secretly and did not invite me to the wedding. Oh, no, and if I had been, surely I would have invited you. <laughs> Maurice, sometimes called L'Homme aux Fleurs, the flower man, at your service. Ben McCain, pleasure to meet you. Maurice, do you know a good place to eat around here? Ah, my friend, this is France. There is no bad place to eat around here. <laughs> now, both of you hop in, I will take you. Oh, no, because I have to... Ah, you are not going to let him eat alone? <laughs> Surely not. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you order for both of us? Surprise me. Alors, uh, une dizaine d'huîtres fines de Claire et Papa. Claire est pas lourde. Um, oui, ça va pour deux. Ah, and, and uh, to begin, um, Bulo. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. So, is your family from here? Uh, yes, as far back as we can trace on both sides. My mother's family uh, opened the inn in the 1920s, first as a boarding house, and uh, my father's family were keepers of the lighthouse. The lighthouse? I saw that today on my ride. Wow, you really have stayed local. And this is your first time in France. <laughs> we, oui. what gave me away? I like to come early, you know, meet the locals, learn things the French way. Ah, and tell me, what have you learned? I've learned that everybody is very happy, that they really seem to know how to enjoy themselves. And the food, the food is incredible. I had three baguettes today alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lesson number one, quality over quantity. Maybe one incredible baguette enjoyed, it's enough. <laughs> and lesson number two? Why don't you try lesson number one? Uh, <laughs> Merci. Merci. Okay, so what are we eating? Uh, les yeux du calmar. Oh, calamari? Yes, the eyeball. Uh, oh. Bonjour. 
Down this morning, I got to see Mariah's studio. She invited you? Ah, uh, well, not exactly. I had another bike incident. Oh. Uh, see. She really is something that her work is extraordinary. Her father's family were all very talented. Her grandfather, especially. When Mariah's parents passed, she stuck to him like glue. Well, her parents, I. I had no idea. It was when she was quite little. How for you is? Hmm. That is a good question. I bounce around so much for work, I'm not sure I really know anymore. It's the typical for an architect? Well, for the kind of work I do, yes. But it's, it's also a choice. I like not knowing what the next chapter holds. Um, a man who designs homes and doesn't have one to call his own. <laughs> I suppose I haven't found a place where the desire to stay is as strong as the desire to move on. You remind me very much of someone I used to know. I had a nice chat with our American guest. He spoke very highly about your work and how much he enjoyed the lunch you had together. I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking nothing. But he's here for the whole summer. And? He's quite charming. Not as disturbing on the eyes. And? You both have common interests. An appreciation for design. And? Perhaps, should the occasion arise, it might be not so terrible to get to know him a little better. <sighs> OK. Tati, the last thing in the world that I'm looking for it's romance. That's exactly when you find it. I don't need tourists. Stem Tati. Love you. Tati? Is Jacques nearby? Oh, uh, he's back around lunch, I believe. Uh, is it urgent? Uh, I'm having some pieces of the arbor delivered today. Um, I was hoping you could help uh, carry them. Oh, I'd be very disappointed to have missed the occasion. <laughs> but perhaps someone else could be of help. Ben? Hi. Well, I think these are the last ones. Can I uh, give you a hand putting it together? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, wouldn't want to ruin your plans for the morning. I don't have any plans. No more bicycle tours. You're right, I haven't had the best luck with bicycles on this trip so far. I was hoping to make it one day without getting injured. For you, that could be tough. <laughs> okay. Uh, merci. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. <laughs> That's not the boat, right? That's, you take that to your boat. Ah, 
Yeah, and have you checked the tight schedule? Because uh, if you don't time it properly, you could um, be stranded in the bay. I'll be back in an hour, tops. If you come back at all. Uh, where are you planning to go? I just go out in the bay, maybe go around and get a better look at the lighthouse. À le phare. I find architecture is often viewed as a technical skill, but I've always considered form to be an equal, if not greater, counterpoint to function. And form comes directly from the heart. The lighthouse, for example, it exists solely for the purpose of function, yet every lighthouse is different. Why? Because each lighthouse carries a piece of the designer's heart. You're very, um, inattendu. Inattendu. <laughs> Tell me about my uh, translator, so I'm going to assume that means pleasant to stroll along a pathway. <laughs> the traveling architect whose entire life fits into a single bag. What else do you need? Family. You need family, no? Without family, we have no history, no roots. We're uh, floating on the wind. Doesn't sound so bad to me. And this is why you travel? Well, I travel because it's what I know. But I also love my work. I love creating something out of nothing. I love taking the old and making it new. Uh, I love taking the old and keeping it old. Uh, every grain of wood, every nail, every fleck of paint, it has a story to tell, a history, um, a piece of the designer's heart. <laughs> so, the lighthouse was rebuilt. Yes, sir. in 1946, after it was destroyed during the war. And you're planning on buying it? The lighthouse? Uh, no, in France, they're owned by the government. But the lightkeeper's house can be purchased. My father's family has lived in that house since the day it was built. One day, I plan to restore every last inch of it. The lightkeeper's house. Uh, Mariah, hold up. Uh, Monsieur, uh, Monsieur, c'est une propriété privée. It's private property. I know it's private property. No need to shout. Then you went hello, Miss Hello. Uh, Wait, you know this man? Nicolas Martin. Uh, Maria, Beaufort. Enchanté. Mr. Ricken is quite the brilliant architect. Have you seen the design he's dreamt up for this place? Quel endroit? What place? This place. The site of my new home. Mariah, I think there's been a serious miscommunication. It seems pretty straightforward to me. I was hired to design a house. I had no idea whose land it was on. You haven't been hired to design a house. You've been hired to tear one down. Mine, my family's. I think that if you saw my plans, you would see... I don't see... need to look at your plans. You just told me exactly how you operate. Out with the old. Is that not true? With the house, yes, but we're not going to touch the lighthouse. The house and the lighthouse are one and the same. How can you not see that? How can you not... Why bother? I know your feelings about history. You're the last person who would understand. Mariah. What house? The lightkeeper's house. That's why Ben is here. He's been hired to design the project. They're going to tear it down and build a private residence. Why, of course I didn't know. But who's this investor, this man? Entre. Hello, Catherine. Am I the only one who doesn't know this man? I'm confused. You won't be out. It was time to come home. 
It's been 30 years. Without warning, without as much as a word. Look, I feel badly if I've stepped on anyone's plans, but I assure you... I think you should go. Catherine. Nicholas, please. Just like that, I've become the villain. Oh, I'm not sure that's true. Two people chasing the same dreams, that doesn't make you a bad guy. I fear it may be a little more complicated than that. Merci. Merci. You know, this island is very special to me. I grew up here. I fell in love for the first time here. It's the only place that's ever truly felt like home. I think I wanted that feeling again. You know, in the end, it's never just the place that brings you back. It's the people. Always the people. He had this quality, this confidence, like a movie star. He was quite serious, adventurous. When we met, he was in the military. He wanted to study medicine in America. He was always reading. I felt for him in an instant. But is that why he left? To study? The war in the Gulf. France sent soldiers to fight alongside the Americans. And then what? He just... Well, he never came back? He never returned? It wasn't so simple. It was just after... Uh, after my parents died. You were so little. Teeny bird with a broken wing. This was your own. You needed to stay here, to heal, to feel safe and grow. Nicholas wanted to see the world. But he was a good man. If he'd known the truth, he would have returned to make a life with me. I believed in my heart he would wake up one day and present me for it. Oh, so you gave him up for me? No, my darling. You are my greatest gift. I gave him up for him. I'm so sorry for the lighthouse. Mr. McCain, a pleasant evening, I hope. Not the best, actually. Maybe I would find you here. You're not flying on bashing me over the head with that, are you? <laughs> and uh, 
Waste good cider? No, I would drink it first. <laughs> About lesson number two, um, that you were unfairly thrust into the middle of all of this, and um, I, I know you were just doing your job. Definitely wasn't personal. These things are always personal to someone, but it's not fair for you to shoulder the blame. You're right. I don't know you. And if I characterized you unfairly, je suis désolé. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, if you're interested, maybe you can show me through your eyes. not to reopen old wounds. And yet here you are. Why didn't you tell me about Moriah all those years ago? You just stopped responding. Silence. Like I was nothing. I would have come back. And then what? I knew what you wanted. You would have lasted a year before getting restless. You had big dreams you wanted to pursue. But I didn't get to. I didn't get to pursue them because all those dreams included you. The torment you put me through. Wondering where I went wrong. If you had fallen in love with someone else. I'm sorry. Nicholas. Benjamin. I was hoping I'd find you. And I, you. I had a thought. As did I. Does it involve the lighthouse? It involves a woman. Oh. Um. Should we walk and talk? We should probably sit and drink. Come on. So no. tell me. No, uh, you go first. And then what? And then I rushed away. I didn't know what to say. Okay. I'm telling you because... Maybe I'm supposed to feel angry at him about the lighthouse, but what I'm really feeling is more complicated. Huh? It's taken me a lifetime to realize that uh, things rarely work out as planned, but we can choose how to move forward. We can still shape the pages 
even if we didn't write a narrative. I've been angry at the world for a long time about a lot of things. I don't want to be angry anymore. Interesting. I talked to Nicholas today. His intention was to only ever live in the place he loves the most, surrounded by the people he loves the most. He wants to keep the house, to restore it. But he wants you to oversee the project. Me? You. You have the skill, and you're the only person who will make sure that it is done properly. But we have to start in a week. No. No, I. I don't think that I can. Uh... Right. I understand that this is disappointing. It's not what I had in mind either. I spent a year working on those plants, and frankly, I am pretty proud of them. But you know, and I know that leveling that house is not the right thing to do. We have an opportunity to turn your vision into a reality. So don't. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for Nicholas. Do it for yourself. If you say no, I understand. But please, we could use your help. Okay. For me, I'll do it for me. Great. Start making preparations. Some of you already know this is a monumental moment for me, um, and I'm, I'm so honored to be working alongside each of you. Above all, the aim is to preserve. Please, let's be surgical in our approach whenever possible. I ask that you use the same care uh, that you would if this was your home. And also have fun, please. <laughs> Super, bon courage. Nothing. Let's see what we're dealing with. Well, it smells like a locker room. Oh, it's just must. Don't breathe it in. Well, I'm smelling it, so that would suggest I'm breathing it. Oh, well, um, uh, stop breathing. Ah, you miss me too much. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Merci. You know, it's in remarkably good shape considering the age. How about tapered casement around the fluids? It's a work of art. We, oui. uh, yeah, my grandfather, he did all the mill work, the casing, the moldings, the uh, corbels here. Sans less, tu peux sortir le bois? Merci. Is there water damage in here at some point? Uh, it's possible. Looks like the molding around the window is rotted out of the bottom. Do you think you could mill some new stuff? Uh, it's a big job. Well, we could always blow this window out and put in a double glazed casement window. I'll throw you through a double glazed casement window. <laughs> Kid. No, the other children were afraid of me. 
Shall we? I recall how much you love to cook, so I brought you this fresh from the market. Thank you. I haven't thanked you yet for altering your plans with the lighthouse. It means so much to Mariah and to me, to everybody. Seeing as we are going to be neighbors, I want to take Stan and Olive Ranch. So now I did. Thank you. You know, it's really thoughtful, but the old joy of cooking is in having someone to share it with. There were always whispers of my family sheltering allies during the war, but this is... Well, look at these dates, 1943, 1944. So during the war. Yes, and they're all love letters, all written in the same hand. My love, my love, mon trésor, my darling JP, mon cher JP. Mon cher JP, I think of you often. I long for your breath on my cheek. I will write again when it is safe. To mon amour, all my love. It's signed A. So this JP must have also sheltered there for a time. Oui. Imagine. Falling so madly in love and then being torn apart, never knowing when the next letter will arrive or, or where the person even is. It's unbearable. And spending months on end alone in that tiny room, alone with your thoughts, your, your worry. It makes you appreciate all the things you take for granted. Um, I would really like to share these letters with Catherine. Uh, would you like to? Oh, wait, oui, yes, um, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mariah, I lost track of time. Um, I invited Nicholas to use the kitchen and... And I made enough to feed the entire town. Why don't you stay? A meal is meant to be shared. Okay. Uh, oui, merci. Uh, it looks very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Uh, filet de merlu et ses petits légumes de saison. A famous local dish. Nicholas does it magnificently. And I found these beautiful vegetables at the farmer's market. So, why don't you help us to dress the table? Of course. I'm impressed you made this all from scratch. <laughs> Mill is serious business around here. And preparation is half of the joy. Lesson number three. A meal is meant to be savored. Always make time to sit and enjoy. Never walk and eat. <laughs> Ever. Especially if a mad French woman is barreling towards you on a bicycle. I noticed the scaffolding up today. You seem to be making good headway. Yes, Mariah was born to lead this team. Ah, uh, then without Ben, there wouldn't be a team for me to lead. Well, then, all is well. Oui, uh, mais, um, well, uh, there is one thing. We think that Mariah's grandparents might have been part of the French resistance. We found a secret room in the basement where we think they could have harbored allies. Oui, there was some um, personal effects and there were love letters. They were written to a man, JP, uh, un étranger, uh, a stranger. 
And we think that they uh, sheltered him during the war. You only know your grandfather as René. But while he was young, he preferred to be called by his middle name, Jean-Paul. If I recall, he and your grandmother didn't marry until the end of the war. So these letters would likely be before they met. So he kept this woman a secret his entire life. Oh, so it was she who was hiding out, this Adrian woman. So if her family really did work with the Allies, they probably sent her away to hide her. You know, it's like something out of a movie. Beautiful French girl meets a handsome stranger. How did you know she was beautiful? Well, she's French. Uh, do you not have something you need to be doing? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm working on the kitchen and I'm waiting for you to finish so we can go on a walk and discuss. So are you finished? Practical. And you're not honoring the spirit of what we're trying to accomplish the here. The spirit only works if you're not ignoring practicality. What good is a kitchen if it's not functional? Uh, what good is practical if it ignores historical intent? <sighs> you haven't even looked at my plans. You don't need to look at your plans to know that... What? No, what are you looking at? What are you doing? We're shopping for coffee, which is both practical and in the spirit of what we're trying to accomplish. No, Ben, we are right in the middle uh, of... Uh, 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 lesson number three... Allow time for a meal each day. And I haven't had breakfast, so. So the countertop will be pink granite, like the stone in the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. I found a fabricator in Array that can make it for us. And then the upper cabinets would have leaded glass in it so that it matches with the exterior doors. I, the, the care you've taken, the, uh, the attention to detail, it's really wonderful. No, it's... It's perfect. Thank you. Never in a million years did I imagine this. The French builder and the American architect. <sighs> Makes for a good story. Hmm. Uh, speaking of which, um, I have a confession. I read ahead. The letters you didn't. I'm sorry, I had to. Oh, it's a brute betrayal on the deepest level. Okay, but can I tell you? Yes, please. Grandfather sounds like quite the Renaissance man. The way she describes him painting her. Oh, by the light of the moon. It's incredibly romantic. Maybe I should be taking some notes. <laughs> I didn't even know he painted. I don't think anyone did. He, um, he had this whole entire life before he met my grandmother. What? what? Just the way you look right now. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> How wonderful it looks. We come bearing gifts. Ah, merci. We have been working so hard, we thought perhaps you could use a little break. Merci, thank you, it's very thoughtful. I won't ask for a tour before it's complete, but from here, it looks as beautiful as I imagine it did when it was built. Well, it's probably better, thanks to the leadership of Mariah. Mariah, you have taught me a very valuable lesson on the importance of fighting for things that matter most. I owe you a lifetime of gratitude. Well, we won't take up your time. Nicholas is taking me to dinner. Ah, bon dîner. Uh, thank you again. Have fun. Merci. Yes. Au revoir. Uh, no, for Fashion Week. <laughs> yes, no. to join the fight. No. Uh, uh, listen, uh, come, come. Um, she says, uh, I know not how long I will be gone, but I will send word as soon as I return. 
Beyond my bedroom window, there is a rock shaped like a jewel. And one day, we will stand arm in arm beside that rock and be married. Until then, you are my heart, my soul, my breath. Be well, my love. We will be together again soon. That's it? That's the last one? That's it. That's the last letter. Well, I mean, we can't leave. We don't know what happened in Paris. We don't even know if she made it back here. I know my grandfather never married a woman by a rock shaped like a jewel. I know that rock. It's on the other side of the island. My grandfather took me there when I was young. I call you. You know, it's incredible that Nicholas and Catherine found each other 30 years later. <laughs> We and to uh, to find love once is lucky enough, but to lose it and find it again? It's almost impossible. <laughs> what about you? Have you ever been in love? Um Oh, I'm 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 sorry, you don't have to answer that. No, no, it's it's okay. I just I'm a little embarrassed. I mean here I am, I'm a woman who is born in the birthplace of romance, and I've never been in love myself. It's, it's all, um, I'm a little against the grain. I'm not sure men know what to make of me. I don't know if it's my work that keeps love away, or if it's me. Well, it's definitely not the work. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I am. I don't think it's either. And you? Ah, uh, there was someone for a time. And does it count as love if the other person doesn't feel the same way? I'm not sure. That's probably why I move around so much. Gone before things get too complicated. Ah, uh, so maybe... It's my work that keeps love away, or it's me. <laughs> Aren't we just the most depressing pair? <laughs> no, really. I mean, here we are, surrounded by all these beautiful love stories. No, 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 no. We're totally Do alone. not say it. It is too pathetic. It's just way too pathetic. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, I don't know why we're laughing. I don't know why we're laughing either. <laughs> Catherine, you're looking very fashionable today. Thank you, Jacques. I've been invited to go sailing. Wow. Are you fine for the afternoon? Yeah, perfectly. Mariah hasn't been around much lately. She's uh, all right. She's happy? Very much so. Shall we? Of course. Bye. Bye. Look what you've accomplished. You 
did it. Um, uh, vous avez réussi impossible et vous devriez en entrer incroyablement fier de tomber. Yes, I'm very proud of my nose. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. we did it. The truth is, uh, it's you who made this possible. Oh, you're so talented. You work hard. And also, you're you're sort of fun to be around, <laughs> and um, and um, you make me smile. I have enjoyed these past few months very much. Yeah, me too. Get your things, I, uh, I'm gonna take you on a little adventure. Come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> this is it. I don't even remember where we were driving to, just that it was Granddad and I, and I don't know, we passed by and he pulled the car over, we got out and we stood in this very spot. And when I asked him why he had stopped the car, I, he just looked at me and he smiled and he said, this rock, it looks like a jewel, n'est-ce pas? And that was it. He just stood there for a few minutes and then we left. We never spoke of it again. That must be the window. Ah, yes, the one she talks about in the letter. Let's see if anybody's home. Except in my mind, it was always you wearing the dress. <laughs> I haven't reached that chapter of my life yet. Haven't you? I've never seen you so happy as I have this past month. Excited to wake, to go to work. Well, I've been bringing the lighthouse back to life. <laughs> my darling, it's you who has come to life. You're laughing again. There is joy. Call it what you like. I know love when I see it. Don't waste 30 years like I did wondering where it went. His life is abroad. Mine is here. How could I leave you? How could I leave them? Oh, my love. I know you want to keep your parents close, but they are not here. They are there. They will always be. 
always be. You are holding on to what was. It's time to discover what can be. You are not alone. I love you. I always will wherever you are in the world. Now, shall we get me married? <laughs> tout le monde Une petite seconde um, three decades I spent searching for the thing that would make me feel whole when all I needed was right here all alone my dear Catherine je t'aime this whole thing prepared about, um, well, about love and how it's pure and everlasting and joyful. But the truth is, I really don't know anything about love. I do know that it surprises us, that it arrives when we least expect it. Sometimes it's in a place person. Sometimes that person leaves. And sometimes they come back. Sometimes they leave this world unexpectedly 
and you are left wondering how you will go on. But you do. And sometimes it's in the, the food we eat and the wine that we drink and the view that leaves you breathless. One thing I know for sure, we cannot control it, no matter how hard we try. And that leaves us vulnerable to it. And all we can do is surrender. And these two have done just that. Catherine, Titi. No one deserves this day more than you. You are me, my aunt, but my best friend, my guardian angel. I'm so happy you have found your love again. Stem. Okay, um, that's it. Uh, Ma félicitations. <laughs> Congratulations. You speak to her? Yes. When we were little, do you recall collecting the rose from the butcher paper? We would stare through them at the sky, pretending we were astronomers, studying the stars. We felt so insignificant, like we were little specks floating in the cosmos. And yet the woman before me is anything but insignificant. She's the brightest star in the sky. Take the risk. You're worth it. And so is he. crowd and they feel something they have never felt before joy and happiness they feel fulfilled but then the crowd launches into a mad farandol everyone dancing together spinning in circles and our two strangers are torn apart struggle to find one another. They cry out in pain to receive life's greatest gift. Men have it snatched away. They are lost. Broken. This was a mistake. We have to go back. I have to go back. Stop the boat! Stop the boat! Yes, we must! This man is in love! Hola, 
about stopping, are we? No. That was pretty exciting, though. beginnings to the places we've been and the places we're heading and to the light that will always be here to guide us home and to a honeymoon 30 years overdue <laughs> Salty. 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 while you are away. No, my darling. You will take great care of it because it belongs to you now. The world deserves to share in its beauty, to revel in its history. It's yours. It always has been. Besides, this cottage isn't big enough for all of us. We wanted you to have it. We have a plane to catch. Yes. <laughs> okay. 